Okay, let's go. Each. Each. So they're selecting their champions. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of boring tank champs. Make that. I'm willing to see the Aurelia. Alright, who, who do you think will play it? Which team has it again? Um, it is Sabe's team, I believe. Oh, calm. That's a lot of... Yeah, it's Team C. Gauge. It's Team C. So it's the team on the left. Blue team. There is no... Where is the damage on either team? I just don't really see them. I'm just seeing a lot of tanks. I don't think Vladimir is the best champion no. to pick. Alongside those champs. Um, it's time to pick Aurelia. If they don't pick either Camille or Aurelia, I think it's kind of. <coughs> I was telling him to do it for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> he has 20 seconds to make the right decision. Uh, Z2 team has a much better draw so far. 100%. They have Swain Leona. Mm hmm. Not really much uh, physical damage though, they're going to be lacking in that, especially if they build tanks. Okay, well they just I'm actually really surprised they're not going Camille. Wait, I think that's a mistake, but it's I still agree. fine. This is going to be a bloodbath of a game, I think. There's just a lot of engage. Okay, now we have the, uh, the three minute wait time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, this is a, a fun... Who do, who do you give the advantage to from draft? Def definitely, uh, definitely Zetsu's team, 100%. Like, they Why just have that? more damage, better engage. I feel like with the Azir, they also have like uh, like playmaking potential. Like a lot more. They can sort of flip it if they have to. Definitely. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Artemis PM Dean is like, I saw your mouth fight GT, you can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think Blue Team had much better options. I agree. I definitely think if they if they had picked, because what are their um, options? They had. Uh... But I think I think they probably just are not comfortable in those champions. Yeah, one hundred percent. They had Rel, Tarek, Malzahar, Vladimir, Aurelia, Aatrox, Camille, Ergot, Hamidinger, and Volibear, and Botdiff had Katarina, Singed, Rumble, Kiana, Warwick, Azir, Corky, Swain, Leona, and Orn. I'm surprised we didn't see a Kiana come out. She seems to have like been quite strong in the games that have been played so far. Um. Oh, they have Zetsu on Orn instead of Kiana. I'm surprised about that. Maybe because he didn't perform in game one. Wink, wink. Did any team, did either team have any like enchanter supports or anything like that? No, not um, really. Nope. I, I think Eric. Eric maybe got Moonstone and then full tank. I would have stopped the Azir for Kiana, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think this is. I think I think Azir has value against their champions, but you know, okay. obviously they don't know what. Yeah, they don't know what they're playing against. Picked, so I think, I think the Corky maybe better. could have been swapped out also. I don't know how good no, it is. Think, is it is it buffed in Aram or? Um, I'm not sure, but Corky is definitely strong. Uh, Strongish in Aram, especially when accompanied by champions like Orn, Leona. Yeah, true. I guess um, he has a lot of feel on good front line. They have engaged for him. He can just sit back and deal damage. Mm -hmm. And like they have lots of mobile champions on the enemy team, so his package. Hmm. Correct. Package yeah. Is have a lot of value. That's big value. That's big Boosie's big package right there. They got the rumble all into the into the Corky package. That's actually yeah, they, have a, they have a huge rumble. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> With Ornolt too, and then the mm -hmm. and then just like when they're power slowed by the rumble and uh, package, it's just a zero shuffle. What do you think the blue team need to do if they want to win this game? <laughs> Press tower car and hope to not die. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to need to I think, I don't know, choose it's level one, just really yeah. try and... Mm -hmm. Try and get a, like a uh, Rail Flash engage level one. They definitely have a strong level one. They just yeah, need Urgot to 1v9, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's Urgot versus the world this game. Or if Vladimir gets fed, he can maybe do something. Cool. Just dodge mm -hmm. a lot of that damage. He, he has to like predict it, though. Definitely. And does, does Artemis have hands? That's the real question. <laughs> I mean, Vladimir's not the... Most difficult champion, so hopefully he can, uh, he he can, can do press something. Buttons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are loading in.
I think we should Hello, definitely be watching. <laughs> and the game has begun. Zetsu's AFK in the base. Maybe the blue team can. They're, they're, not pushing up. they're not pushing up. Ralph should yeah. be in the bush, definitely. I think that's. Ralph should uh, be putting an early mistake. One hundred percent. It is an early mistake. Zetsu's still AFK. Still AFK. Um, Maybe he's deciding on starting items. There we go. He's finally got Bami Cinder. I'm gonna be watching uh watching Ro definitely for the first few levels, see if she can maybe look for something. As will I man, as will I. <laughs> <laughs> oh Tarek stun down into Rumble, but nothing will okay, come. They get the stun, yep. Nothing too eventful happening no, so just... far. Back and forth. Just, so, yeah, just bouncing yeah. waves. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely in the red team. I think that's and definitely in the red team's favor. Play. They're just scaling up with Corky is here. Mm -hmm. Getting all in XP. They just yeah. have a really strong level 6. Mm -hmm. You could say the same about the blue team, but uh, I think both. blue team really need an early lead if they want to win. I have to be forcing stuff from a stun misses onto Rumble. That was Could definitely miss. be looking for an engage here after the silence. I mean, Corky's so. wide open, but no mm -hmm. one's biting. No one's flashing into that. Rel has not used a spell yet, apart from that Q. I think she's used Q like twice, three times. Four times. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Red team are very happy with how this is playing out so far. No cap. Oh, a little bit of a fight. Okay, no. Seems like blue team is trying to look for the engages, but they're just getting, just getting kited out. It's a lot of rail keys going down, but not much else. Not much at all. Hopefully, we should be dinging level six soon, like a quarter of the way there on most champs. Oh, crash down. Okay. Okay. Engage on to That's misses. a big on. That's a big on knock up. Flip from. Is... Oh, is that who's dying first blood to roll? Artemis is in the back lane. He's maybe gonna go down. No. Nope. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead. This is looking good for the Flash blue out team. From Big. They're all about halfway to six. Yeah, and oh. they're uh, looking forward to level six fight now, definitely. Definitely. Wonder if we'll see any big snipes from uh from Ergot this game. I mean it's pretty easy to hit. The other all in the narrow map, which is Howling Abyss. I wonder if we will free see any freezing from the red team this game. <laughs> I mean, it definitely will benefit them. 100%. They just want to drag the game out as long as they can, really. Or in level 16, Corky scaling is it scaling. Actually, yeah. Okay. Most champions have ding level 6 now. I'm looking to see these corky missiles just start flying in. Vladimir is not yet level 6, which I think is a... It's a bit of a problem. Mm, How close a is big, he? A yeah. look. He it's just thinks so. Go for, uh, a team. Okay. Okay. I think after this wave crashes, I think that's when they look to fight when the wave bounces back to them. Interesting, interesting to see three, three people having biscuits. Mm -hmm. Um, is here and Aurel. Or opting for biscuits. I don't think they're that beneficial in Aram. I shouldn't think so, especially with Definitely. these sorts of comps. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you need mana that bad, you can just have one of your tanks take clarity. Or you just take the presence of mind. True, actually, yeah. <laughs> Very fair. Oh! Okay, uh, I've got all goes down and misses. <laughs> <coughs> not sure it was worth going for that one, but me neither. It's definitely a long cooldown now. We'll not have, we'll not have it for ensuing fight. I think Zatsu's looking for an engage. Okay, Tarek's done. Crash down from Rel. Miles of hot. Oh, Tarek Hulk goes down. Okay, big shuffle. Oh, it's looking bad for the. Well, I don't. But looking bad for red team. The red team has really um, messed up their positioning. Yep. Big it crash coming like up. Ooh, they're going for a dive. Oh, they're huge, huge, huge. Okay. Artem 
Did that make us get exhausted though? Oh, uh, what is Artemis doing? I think he does tower there, yeah. Oh. I think that was just a bit of miscommunication. I Crash think Tetsu was trying thing. to freeze, like... Yeah. It looked like he was posturing for a freeze, He has Kami then... Cinder though, so it's hard. Yeah, but I think he was just trying to hold on to the wave. Yeah, definitely. Well, there's no like... reason for him to be walking up like that. No, I don't need to. Did every single ult get blown? Yep, every single ult ability was used in that fight. Oh, Mirror gonna go down. Oh, that overheat from Rumble with the Flame Splitter. Very strong. Burned. Big damage, man. He already has his Night Harvest to complete it too, so that is gonna be hitting very, very hard. Also got the Leandris from Azir, which is gonna have a lot of value this game. Huge value, especially a versus this A lot tank. of value. Okay, Corky has his package now, so when ults come up, we're looking for a big engage from him. Maybe alongside the Rumble ult. Yep. I think it's gonna probably time out before the... Uh... Ah, uh, yeah, that's very Before the rumble lot comes yeah. back up. Let's have a look. It might be close though. No, it's got 10 seconds left. Nah, he's gonna have to just use it, I guess. That means... You can probably just waste it or just let it, let it time out. Yeah, the wave state is not really uh, allowing for them to so utilize it. I think uh, the stage team in the game. is aware that they sort of need you know, some of those important ultimates before they can uh, step up too far. Definitely. They're just hugging their tower. Yeah, this Corky package is gone now, so when blue team has their cool tower, he just queued. He just queued the wall. Um, a bit of vandalism. Uh, <laughs> a bit of vandalism. <laughs> Interesting micro decision from Corky there. Snowball landing down to mirror. The Zero is just BMing. He's standing up very far. Just having a bit of a dance. He's trying to use. Expert is overheating. Flash out. Engage from Leona. I got flip. Tarek stun. Vladimir ult. Big shuffle again. They don't yet have the Tarek no, ult. One horn down. Big rumble ult on four members. Okay, that's Vladimir it. Vladimir does fall down. I don't think Blue Team's going to be able to win this on us. No. Wow, yeah, already gonna... like seven minutes, eight minutes into the game, and Red Team is already coming out on top on fights. It's very insane it's to see. Really interesting to see that they actually engaged before the Tarek ult came up. You can see Tarek. Pinging his ult now. I think there was a bit of miscommunication. Definitely. Um, Maybe Red Team might be looking for some executes here so they can reset and uh, pick up some items with the gold they just earned from that fight. Oh, okay. Engage from his there. Nah, he's inting. He's inting. That's that's. Uh, I think. I think he was just in. looking for the uh, for the reset there. Seems yeah, like Corky yeah, does think, not want to reset. I think they're oh, all looking for the reset. Oh, he does get the trade kill though. Oh wow, he actually got it. Does get the trade kill. He'll take that. Definitely. He has his Divine Thunder now. Blue team probably can't siege onto tower uh, too well with their champions, so... It's a shame that the Rao has three of their kills. It's a bit it's of a shame. Lots of gold from that. You would want the kills on the Urgot and the uh, Vladimir. Crash down, stun onto Zatsu. Flip from Urgot. They're looking for a dive. Mm -hmm. Leona gets turned back. Snowball down. All fair Zatsu beyond death misses. Big rumble out again, Tarek ult coming down. Ooh. Looking for the re-engage. Vlad, big Vladimir ult. No one okay, falls. Rumble on the... the back line. Knock up from Bourne. The Urgot crash has fallen down. though. Big crash down from uh, Rel. Okay, Vladimir can turn this. Vladimir can definitely go back in here. Mazahar ult coming down onto... And he's dead. Okay. Big, that was huge. Wow. Ooh, the triple kill. Very big. Well played by Artemis. <laughs> Picked up his pro bill and just started doing something. Matt. It's a very good fight for the blue team. Getting some okay. gold in their pockets. Definitely. It's looking more like a... Looking maybe more favored towards them now. So maybe they can... Okay, Benny was looking for an execute. And he gets it. Very nice. And the gold handed over to the red team for that death. Oh, still wouldn't say they're favored, but... No, definitely not. Not, not more not comfortable now that... Running, yeah. running legs from Artemis. Getting away from that rumble. Mm -hmm. oh. They're going back in, but okay, he misses. Okay, comes his... in. Stride breaker to dodge. Dash forward. Okay, pull from Vladimir coming out. He needs to get an execute. Spend his gold. Vladimir, yeah, yeah. I think he should have tried to get for a reset there. Mm -hmm, maybe look um, for a trade on to Expus. Yeah, he takes it's a bit too late now. They've got the package. They've yeah, got the rumble Oh, it's a big engage from Rel. Big. But there's no one to follow up. No follow up. How is the Azir tower there? Oh, Magnet Storm coming down. Some from they should go on that. They should go on that. Oh, okay, package oh, the wasted. Just got, get get, out. He just gets CC chained. Mhm. Mm he had to W out. 
He might die. He dies. He dies to uh, the Andrews. That's <laughs> insane. Oh, big engage from Vladimir. Oh. Or knock up. Big crash down. Oh my god. It's an absolute bloodbath. Under the Azir tower as well. Oh, Fibby on death. Rumble is overheated. He's going to die. He's going to go down. Maybe not. Under Seems crash like down. the red team just doesn't have the DPS to, no. to burn through all of these. Oh, Tarek's done misses. These chunky boys. Wow. As I said, I did predict this game was going to be an absolute bloodbath, and it has been just that. <laughs> 11 minutes in, and uh, definitely, 32 definitely. kills. It's a lot of hard engagement. Oh, it's very even, though. 300 gold difference between the teams. It is a Obviously, a lot, of that have, a lot of that has not been spent, though. You can see the Vladimir just rushing the Void Staff. He does mm, have a lot of penetration. Mm -hmm. He's got, yeah, he's got Pen Boots, he's got the Void Star. I wonder what he'll be picking up next. Maybe a Cosmic Drive? To, like, reduce his CDR? Seems like he is going for the cosmic drive. Mm -hmm. Bond picking up the warm-off second is quite interesting considering how like, I don't know, the fights have just been going on and doesn't really need to sit out and sustain. And there's not really too much poke from, uh, from the blue team either. Yeah. <coughs> Zero's looking towards Nash's tooth. Oh, engage from Orn. I think that was a misclick. Crash down into Tarek's stun. Nethergrass, Tarek coming ideal. down. Big equalizer. Ooh. Okay, the Tarek stun, uh, the Tarek hold definitely saved them. I'm not sure. I, no. I personally, I don't think the terracot was needed there, but mm, I think uh, Brown may have died if not. But uh... I don't know. I think I think she would have been fine. But Brown can maybe look for an engage onto Corky. Okay, now it, it's uh... she's known about. Oh, snowball hits from Artemis. Is he gonna go in? He's going in. Big ol. Paul goes down. He's gonna look for that heal. Probot forward. Big damage out from That's Artemis. Big ol. That's a big ol. Rumble has to back out. Oh, Fibby on death catches, uh, catches the Leona. Snowball, he's going to go back in. Disgusting. Huge. Ergot, absolutely big massive. Big, big can get plays. a big, big push here. Mm -hmm. they can maybe 20 look seconds on most inhibitor. members. They can clear that wave and then maybe look to take an inhibitor. He might go for the... He does have oh, crash down. He might Stun. go for something. Flip. Can you see yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He is not getting out of that one alive. <laughs> CC chain is too strong. Definitely, they can definitely look for an inhibitor here and then maybe look to try and execute. I think Tarek should probably try and die to tower. Okay, just waiting waiting for his package, it seems. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's got his package now. He could go for it. He's gonna like have maybe to. Maybe with, with a Leona, I think you have to try and look for this here. Wait for the wave to push back out and then look for the fight. The thing is, Tarek is quite and... mana. Yeah, they need to try and pounce on that Tarek alt cooldown. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's only a short like, window left. Yeah, 30 seconds. Left. Yeah. The thing is, Tarek has so much healing because he can just uh, keep on getting mana back from the shrines and just healing his teammates. Like, they're basically all full health already. Definitely. Seems like Tarek is going to be up for the next fight. Mm -hmm. um, the blue team are going to have item, all okay. ultimates available. Yep. Everyone's going to have their ults ready. Any new item completions? Mirror mana for Corky. Uh, Demonic yep. Embrace for Rumble. I think that Sunder is going to have a lot of value. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, but Divine Sunderer and uh, like any any like uh, max health damage or pen items are going to be big value this game. Definitely. Oh, okay. Interesting package use again. Just use rather defensively. Yeah, I think he was he was going to run out, so mm -hmm. perfect to him. He wanted it. to shove in the wave. Oh, crash down from Rel, just missing. Big Magnet Storm, big knock up from Orn. Tarakol comes down. They should. Oh, shuffle yeah, misses. Sure Adamir on the back line though. Rumble goes down, hits four members. Big or no? Do they have the DPS though? No, they don't. Red team is looking like they're coming up on top as you predicted. Maybe looking for the re engage? No, Blue no team cooldowns. might get some. So Vladimir completes his cosmic drive now. They do have a bit of gold. Vladimir is big. Four, three item Vladimir with boots. He's rather large. The Abyssal Mask completed now by Rel. Mm -hmm. And also the redemption for Tarek so he'll be able to save his team. Knock up from on. Oh, he got cut by that. He dies. Oh? No, he can't do enough. Looks like he's dead too. Probably get the hit there. Maybe not. Oh, I should know. Zetsu has the Marlish. Uh, I think they won't be able to get it. No, they won't be able to get it. Vladimir is back up now, so a relic now. <laughs> so oh, he does have the warm up, so he does not have to He does not have to reset unless he... That's very true. Really I think uh, Migra is going to go down to Artemis here. I think if you're Leone, you want to die here. Mm. Yeah, probably. Um, Besides against just... it. Mm-hmm. Artemis will just heal up through his Q also. Doesn't have to worry about training the health there. He does not indeed. Interesting to see a QSS picked up by Corky. I'm not Very sure. Very interesting. I feel like with package unstoppableness, you don't need to like pick up the QSS. 
Definitely. I mean, he obviously is worried about the Malzahar ult, but... I feel like he's probably going to be too far away from the Malzahar. The Malzahar will probably be ulting, like, the Azir or the Rumble. Yeah, Malzahar does not have, you know, a Snowball or any sort of gap closer uh, nope. other than his Flash to get onto the Corki, so... No, it's not, I apparently. It, I guess, I guess it allows Corki to play a bit more aggressively. And look for those uh look for those packages. Yeah, I guess if he wants to go with package he probably would have been better off picking up a stopwatch so his team could follow up rather than just a QSS. Because the blue team has a lot of CC. Definitely, definitely. And some of it is on QSS as well, like the knock ups and stuff. I'm not sure about the the demonic embrace. Um on with the Night Harvester by by uh yeah. Rumble. I'm not sure if there's I feel a like if he wanted to go the Night Harvester, he probably should have just gone for early Andrews. I think the Andrews probably would have been better this game too. Versus that team because the damage from Flame Spitter just, you know. Oh, is that looking for an engage? Getting punished for losing a bit of fun. <sighs> Stun from Tag onto Corky. No QSS used though. It's all sad there, fine. <laughs> Rel could look for an engage here. Rumble goes down. It is here, it's just. I'm surprised Rel didn't go for the Azir there. Just. Uh... Mm, definitely. I think the. Oh, she goes what? in late. She goes in by herself. She's. The oh, team's sure, nowhere near, they went for the relic. That's a very big miscommunication from the blue team here. Yeah, I'm not sure you know what was what she was looking for there. A very interesting play. <laughs> Up the mountain we go. Um she does not have the ultimate ready now. No no magnet storm on Rao is very big, big cooldown to lose for this fight, especially. There's no Rumble or, or Leona or but obviously Rumble mm -hmm. on the low cooldown. Very low CD, with, yeah. Uh, with the ability haste from the Night Harvester as well. Mm -hmm. And he'll be picking up a voice stuff next, it looks like, with the Blighted Jewel in his inventory. Yep. The idea is they're looking that... for uh, Zonya's Hourglass too. Zetsu has the uh, Abyssal Mask now, very big with that 15% damage buff on a CC. Not really much going on here, just sort of wave bouncing and waiting for cooldowns, it looks like. Pretty much, pretty much. I do think this benefits the red team, obviously. Um, I agree, obviously. You know, Orn is getting his Orn items now, game. I think that's he's been able to give out now. Who have they been given to at first? Uh, okay, so Vespertide picked up for Rumble, his Night Harvester got upgraded. And the Leandri's Layman for Azir has been upgraded so far, so obviously one per level. Definitely, definitely. Upgrades are coming in. Mm -hmm. Surprised I didn't give the upgrade to the Corky. Uh, I'm not yeah, sure what the. I'm uh, okay. What does that tell them? Tarakol, big. Shuffle onto just Vladimir. Or not. Coming down on four people. Huge. Oh, big Rumble or two. Magnus Storm comes down from Rao. Oh, it's looking bit, very good for the blue team. Oh, that's a big that's flash a... done by, by Tarek. Huge, huge. Wow. It's looking like an ace. Yeah. I think that's the game. It's an ace, it might, yeah, they might be able to end the game here. They can probably end the game if uh, they have a uh, tank.
We're good, we're good? Okay, okay. Hello guys, hello and hello. Welcome back to the uh, ARAM tournament organized by LCLG. Uh, this is uh, the matchup everyone was hyped up for from the start today. We are having Team C, also known as ICL Bot Rigged, against uh, the Titans that are... Uh, had what, no, not Pandans. Pantheons Templars. There we go. That's what they've called themselves. I'm not sure why they've called themselves that. Very elaborate name, honestly. Yeah, exactly. Um, so as we get into picking bands, I mean, it's not really picking bands. It's Aram, so it's just picking. Yeah, um, they pick these from ten different uh, world champions by our very own LCLG robot, um, Discord bot. Um, both teams quite balanced, I think. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet on either right now, looking for the comp. I mean, I, I see an Orn on the side of <laughs> Incident on Orn. It's pretty standard, pretty standard. But um, I mean, yeah, both sides having a, a reasonably damage, damage, uh, reasonably balanced damage profile. Both sides have uh, have tanky members. They have the DPS in the back line. So definitely going to be a front to back fight for both sides here. Uh, probably pretty scary too. Yeah, it definitely is going to be scary. Um, probably the uh, the side of ICL Bot Ring, possibly looking for an engage with Yon, uh, along with the Galio and Malphi, looking for a combo maybe onto the back line if they can reach it. But uh, it's thinking... definitely going to be it's definitely going to be tough for them to do that. So it may just end up being a front to back duel. Yeah, Yon's definitely quite a. I think Yon's one of the best champions in um, in Arams actually. I think he can just go straight to the back line. Um, and there's literally only one like straight lane for him to ulti through, so like it's pretty hard to miss. But we have Seraphine and Seraphine like against each other, so nothing to say. Oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> is there not even viable anymore. I've never, I haven't seen her in, in since Seraphine came out. Pretty much, it's kind of tragic. I think uh, Seraphine is just now like a better version of Sona. Sad times. Yeah, I think Sona is still pretty strong. Like Sona, you still got the healing. You still got, a, you still got all those tools to help our team. Just short. Obviously, not as, not, not as elaborate as Seraphine. All the, all the, all the, all the new season champions. They've got like fifty different abilities with fifty yeah. paragraphs for each of them, and like, like the passives. They're like have like three different passives, and each one of those passives are a passive from a previous champion, uh, and they just like group them all together and call it a day. That's, that's how Riot designs champions these days. So no one's a great champ before they brought Sever Seraphine in. Yeah, yeah, just everyone in chat. There is a there is an option to spend five thousand channel points to mute me for five minutes. So if you five feel like minutes. doing that, He's five minutes, that. and then you'll have Julie. For I, I Julie don't by herself for five minutes. So, well, um, well, that's not for you to decide. That's for chat to decide. Yeah. Oh gosh, um, please don't. <laughs> Um, these are our two finalists, by the way. Um, I don't know if it's announced, but yeah, this is the grand grand finals after like five, four, four rounds of Aram games. So these both teams actually came out three and zero. Who's the best Aram player? They have the blessings of the RNG gods, like uh, some of the other teams, unfortunately. Three and zero, though. There's got to be some skill in there, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, hopefully. But anyway, I mean, I think we do have to take a look at the bot, you know? Maybe someone has to make sure the bot is running a random set of code. Has anyone done that? The, the bot? Yeah, the bot. Uh, that is who's keeping, who's keeping the Who's making sure the bot is uh, doing its job correctly? It's probably been um, hacked by someone, to be fair. Uh, I think it has, I have to I'm say. I'm surprised Zetsu didn't, didn't rig it for himself. Hmm. But anyway... This game uh, will be starting, at least, so. But, so we'll be getting into some action. I mean, although I don't know if we'll be seeing too much action early on. I think both teams are just going to farm farm for quite a long time um, before they I can really engage onto each other. Are we on Team C to win? Um, was it, what was the name again? Bot ICL rigged? Bot Rigged. ICL Bot Rigged. Oh, yeah, ICL Bot Rigged. you got to run the ICL. <laughs> um, <laughs> I hope everyone likes my portrait. Um... Drawn by our very own president. Um, yeah, I, I do hope that ICL bot rigged actually wins because I think they're the underdogs in this a little bit just because um, um, Pantheon's tem Templars? 
Oh, is that just like, like you know you know how the you know how the uh in like the Sony key, yeah, the rank, the, the leagues have like names. Is that one of the names? Ah, uh, maybe. Because yeah. that's probably where it's name. from. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Wait, you're so far. So, wait, what? Wait, just, just pause. Can you wait, wait? Where are you at? No, I'm behind. Okay, I'm synced. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Wait, and we're in game as you can see. Uh, some uh, some issues with the with the overlay, but that's fine because I didn't design it. But anyway, going into the game, we have uh, I mean, uh, as much as uh, as much as I expect, I think it's gone early. Both sides are gonna look for uh, look for look for any chances they can find to pick up an early person. So instant goes flying in, headbutts the pillar, but he himself might Ooh. actually be going on here. And he is going to get rooted out. Uh, he has so much healing from his side. He will get kept alive and hopefully Guardian's Horn will give him a nice health regen as well. Oh, I do see that uh, Jezza has taken clarity, the correct summoner to take in Arams. I mean, it depends on what you're playing, like, right? If you're playing a, I mean, you're playing a champion I'm that you just... I'm just what else would you really... I mean, yeah. apart from like, maybe exhaust, but you can literally constantly fill up your team. It's pretty OP. Push your buttons and make I your really team full mana. Also... Full, full mana, full HP. Got nothing to worry also about. I hope he's got um, Presence of Mind. I hope most people have Presence of Mind here. And Presence of Mind, again, you proc it so easily. Because there's so many people to check your abilities out. If you have anything, this is long ranged, AoE, throw it out, really hit someone, it, yeah. tag someone, doesn't matter who, get your mana back. All good. Ooh. <laughs> They're just dancing together, having a little fun. Like, what's going on here? If we, I mean, if we take a look at the, the one thing you gotta know to note about Aram is that there is a there is a challenge balance buffs and nerfs going on here. So, for example, Sona. Let's take a look at Sona. Sona does eighty five percent of her normal damage and receives one hundred and fifteen percent of her normal damage, which is unbalanced, honestly. Insane. I don't know why. <laughs> Heals at eighty percent. Shields at eighty percent. So that's a that's a huge nerf to her. Let's take a look at Seraphine on the other side. Again, eighty five percent. Actually, exactly the same in terms of the in terms, uh, of, the, in terms of the nerfs there. So they are twins. The, both sides going to be uh, equally struggling in that aspect. And don't forget as well, uh, another part of Aram is uh, healing on allies is also reduced by I think fifty percent. So yeah. despite uh, like despite them being known to, to like even even with those nerfs, they still manage to heal the yeah, allies so much. That's how strong they are in Aram. It really shows the, the strengths of the champions here in this game mode. Bot's rigged still completely full health. I guess not much, not pretty much poke from the side of Pumpkin's and Temples. I mean, uh, again, I don't see much going on here. Both sides really just, very just, just, just clearing the wave, trying to get to level six. Maybe Shivasura mm -hmm. gets caught out. Maybe not. Maybe people flash around, but I don't think Truman's gonna die. I think he'll be okay. He's gonna flash back. He's gonna be fine. And yeah, just the tanks scrapping of each other. There's not much to see here. Well, there is a root going down. That is a decent route. But now everyone's at level 6. Oh, this wow. is where action pops off. Okay, it has Orn does not manage to pull back. Oh, no, no. It goes insane with the Athenos. He's looking for the kills. He's looking for 3. He's looking for 4. And they will find it. They're going to find the kills. They're going to find the shutdowns. And that's an ace going over to the Yuren. I feel like that could have almost gone for a pentakill there. Damn. Oh my god. That was so big of a Moonlight Vigil. Hitting so many people. And this is just... I mean, they could even go for the tower here. Like, the tower's half HP already. What happened? Oh, he's, he's going to execute. Oh, that was he a clean execute. That, that is Wait, huge. Someone flashed flash for him. I think Raymond's going to flash incident. He's looking for a snowball engage here. I think Artemis may be caught out here, but that's okay. He's got a bunch of gold to spend, so he's going to go back and spend that. Not quite the reverse sweep, though. Team C still looking healthy. That was a great... I mean, great, if um... managed to get back and spend all his gold, look, he's got a Kraken Slayer now. That's absolutely massive for the, for the outcomes of future team fights. And they are going to take some tower damage here, but I think I see a bot rig. They're going to be very, very happy with the, with the play they managed. The Galio ulti two was right in the center of the center of their team. You can't escape that in this kind of map. 
Yeah, I mean, originally it looked good for the for the side of having uh, yeah, Templars cool with Vince is engaging, but the, I think they just tunneled too hard on a single spot, and that meant that the Galio and the Malphite could combo together. Uh, and just give, give a Venom so much space for him to do the damage and mm -hmm. uh, and win them the team fight. Kudos to Team C for being able to react so quickly to that, a re engage like that. Yeah, yeah, very, very good re-engage here. Maybe it's just the Benio versus Truman, who's the better ADC kind of game. I don't know, man. Truman ADC is kind of... Kind of... Kind of... Uh, <laughs> let's say, uh, let's say, uh, what should I say? Let's say, uh, it's, 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 uh, f feasible, feasible, feasible. I think that's a good Lucian's, word. Lucian's yeah. pretty good in, um, Aram's, I believe. I think that was a pretty yeah, good once, once, well, once, uh, once I was playing in Aram and I, I got hard carried by this AP Lucian. I don't know how, because I tried playing AP Lucian once and it did absolutely no damage. <laughs> but I, I I got this AP Lucian on my team who was just fell out of his mind and you just one-shot people with like one combo. It, it didn't make it's, any sense, but... That's AP though. Yeah, yeah, he was AP. He, he was AP and one-shotting people. It was incredible. <laughs> so like only your W skills of AP and your obviously, but uh, like you half your abilities don't do anything and your autos don't do anything, so that's very really surprising. Mm -hmm. And uh, Salox is it's gonna be okay. Earlier in the tournament, manager. there was a twenty nine and ten uh, Lucian, and he also had a Seraphine. Oh no, wait, this is the wrong. Okay, I mean, I mean that's kind of the ceiling for Truman to go on. Twenty nine kills. Hope he can carry. Otherwise, I mean, I think Raymond would be able to scale quite easily as a secondary carry. Mm -hmm. Well, as the KO, you do have to be careful of uh, making sure you, you do stay away from the Galio and Malphite, because if they do get on top of you, um, they can they can just completely cut down your damage by seizing you, by seizing you down. So as long as he stays away from those, I think he'll be fine. But uh, we'll have to see how the team fights go out there, because so far, both sides just clearing the minion wave. Not much going on. Shimasu might get quite a bit pillar here, but he's okay. Look, <laughs> double pillar, double pillar. <laughs> There's two of them. Channel's one's taller though. Uh. They're really playing for the long con. I've never seen this few kills in a game round. I mean, this is uh, it was pretty expected because like. Besides, the, they, they can't really pick anyone out because if you if you go for an engage here, say onto some onto one person, you're just gonna get collapsed by the rest of them, and then you're gonna lose. Like, look, instant here, he's way too far forward, he's gonna die, and and that's exactly what happens. He first hits a massive Seraphine ultimate into the back line, and now one more combo is coming in. It's three people. Shibasaur is tagging a hole, cutting from Truman, and he will go down. That'll be a one for one. Trade it back to the Orn as well. Oh, Bobino picks up. Oh my God, nice kill. Now it's three versus three. Karma is burning people down. Oh God, people down. Truman's trying to put out his damage. But no one can catch Vino. He's still alive, and he will find the kill onto Karma, and so will Sona. And then, oh, Artemis absolutely clapping the side of uh, of Papias Templars here, picking up the triple. Damn. Half of that fight was also a towel dive, so I think. And again, this is the issue I was saying. The, the, the team that engages first loses because. He, you usually engage tool and then and they just disengage and then they engage on top of you because you're overextended and then you die. And that's exactly what happened. You see Instant go in and then his 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 his, his team was just, just completely stunned up by Seraphine and then they just found a one more combo uh, onto onto all of them. And they were the ones to lose the fight over. Now look like, might be able to catch up in your here, but no, it looks well, like you will actually cool. get away, which is pretty big because it means that once again they win the re-engage, take down the Orn, you know it will go down in the process, but he's back to spend all that money he earned from the fight earlier, so that's Pretty good for him. I think Benio probably has quite a lot of gold in his pocket as well. Or he next dies. Oh, I, I just see, uh, I see in the chat, someone's accusing me that I play in bronze Aram Elo. Sorry, can't, no, 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 no. I, I, am, I am top tier Aram player. I am. If if Aram had ranked, I would be in top two hundred. I would be the uh, I would top be challenger. 200. I would be challenger, right? That's challenger, right? Top two hundred. I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I would be challenger. I would be up against the likes of, who knows? I don't know any good Aram players. 
they had to really handicap you so that you wouldn't just win the tournament by yourself. Yeah, you had to. You, you made the ball like rigged, so I, <laughs> I, I didn't get any champions that I actually wanted to play, which is unfortunate. But hey, yeah. it happens. Even then, you almost collapsed. What is your? I think you were two and one. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. The last, last game, last game was actually competitive. There was, there was not much we could do. <laughs> but anyway, Veneer once again stepping a bit far forward here. He may get taken down. The old lands on top of him, and Karma is there to bite him down. That get, is him pulling down. That is a lot of the damage gone from the side of ICL Baldrig, leading to Malphite going down as well. And uh, I think, uh, I think the red team can look to take this tower here. They can definitely play off this momentum they just built for themselves. Oh. Seraphine, Seraphine, oh. Seraphine getting caught. Seraphine getting caught here. Oh, the oh. ultimate does corner up a lot of people, but I mean, there's just absolutely no damage here. I don't know why Yuri is going in. I don't think he can find the 1v5 here. And Shibasaur is going to go down as well. And that will be another tower surely going over to the side of the Pantheon Templars here. Vinier well, is back up. up. Can, he, can he manage to clear the minion wave in time? I think he can. I think he can. Okay. He can, he can. Just oh, video. but Truman gets rooted there. Kalo has to come out to save his life, and that's a big cooldown used. Because that means that's, that's a very long cooldown. How long is that cooldown, actually? Let's find out. That is a... Wait, wait. Oh, two that is a, uh, yeah, that's a two-minute cooldown. Damn. I would not have done that. I would like, uh, like, in ARAM, sometimes there are some abilities you can just use randomly, like some ultimates, because it has, like, a 30, 40 second cooldown, and it doesn't really matter, because, like, you're not going to fight in that time anyway, but Kale's cooldown is long enough that you don't really want to just be using it randomly. Hmm. Because uh, it, it, it might not be up for the next fight, which is definitely possible here. As uh, right now the kills are pretty even, the gold is also pretty even. So game state still looking good, still possible chances for both teams. I mean, it's Aram. Like you win one team fight, you basically win the game. Uh, once they get late into the game, so both sides with winning chances here. The red side actually having a lot more CS. Oh wait, no, I knew it. Um... Yeah, but it was, yes, it's 78 in an ARAM game. Damn, okay. <laughs> he's, he's farming the CS. His team is funneling him, making him strong, which is which is what you want, fellows being strong. For 200 years. I want to see massive AoE damage from him. No, he does have to dodge out the... Uh... I mean, yeah, he, he just he just needs to make sure he doesn't get poked out too early because he, that, that can happen, as you see, with one of the early fights and... As long as that doesn't happen, I think even if even if instant lands an ult on him, he should be able to he should always disengage with the health of his team. It's got a pretty decent front line for it. Yeah, we do we do see the uh, tank Malphite coming out here instead of the full AP one. Which uh, is understandable. You want to you want a front line for your team more than diving onto the enemy back line. You may have a KLO, so you may not actually not actually do any damage to them. Or you may may get CC'd up by Sona anyway. Uh, and then get one shot, so tank is definitely a much safer option to go here. Well, we're instantly looking for a knockup. He does knock up two people, but I don't know if those are priority targets. And now, <laughs> Miri is flying into the ultimate. Yeah. Yon is cutting them down too. Binyo will go down yeah. surely to come, but he won't. <laughs> He's staying alive. In the meantime, the fight is even. One for one for both sides. Instant is falling very well. But Truman looking for a pick onto the bot side. Instant goes down. Very close. Will, will Yon kill them all, though? Yon going yeah. absolutely super sign in this fight, and he will cut down every member of the Pantheon Templars, apart from Karma, who just bites him down. Um, not sure about that one. Anyway, no, he will, he will. All good, all good. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Quadra kill all planned for, and now the inhib will be theirs. I don't know if they'll get the inhib entirely, actually, but... They will get the inhib, don't worry. Oh, oh, but you're hit by the snow. Oh, uh, he's straight back in. I'm uh, not sure. Uh, uh, oh no, Seraphine. Uh, you know, I, I think I think he could have dodged us there. I think uh, I think that was a dodgeable snowball. But I, I guess he wants to reset, which is fair enough. Un understandable. With him. But um, yeah. Uh, Sona now has some anti healing though. Finally, for the Yone. Otherwise, <laughs> you see, his healing his healing is strong, definitely. But I mean the 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 Yon build is just disgusting. The one way you go. Well, but he doesn't even have he doesn't even have Bloodthirster. I do. He, so I mean he could have even more healing than than he does right now, which is a lot already. 
What is what is worm fallen sacrifice? Is that the what? What is that? What? what why is what why is Kraken Slayer called that? What? What? Is that an all -nighter? What, is, what is the what is a worm fallen? It's been upgraded by one. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but what is what is a what is a worm fallen? So um, like, what is it? You know what? I would just Google that right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, well, is it a creature? It must be a creature of some kind, right? Uh, <laughs> you got I it. have no idea. There's nothing. There's nothing on Google about this. It's just the uh, name of it, I guess. Okay. Okay. So it's just a made-up name. All right. All right. Anyway. Whoa. <clears throat> Probably links the law in some way. If anyone in chat knows about this. Yep. Anyone? Anyone in chat knows uh, knows what a worm fallen is? Please, please help us out. Yeah. But in the meantime, ICR Bodrig looking to to push for this inhib right here. Once again, both sides looking for a, a one team fight that need to win. I mean, there's not much to talk here. Talk about here. It's not like a normal League of Legends game. We can talk about pushing towers. Spinning the map. No, no, no. We just, we just play a ram, like quite literally a ram. But anyway, we have only goes onto the incident there. I'm not sure about this fight here, but Gallic yeah. is going to put a big ultimate hit onto about three people, and that will be game surely unless Silox will be able to turn this around. Oh, it's completely shutting yeah. down the enemy team, and Pino goes down as well. That's the Aphelios gone, and that will be the damage completely gone. Karma looking to pick up Shibasura oh. as well, but he is going to be. Taken out, and that will be a two for uh, five there, for five or two even, sorry, for Pantheon Templars here as they barrel down the mid lane. Both carries on the red side still alive. It was, it was really close, they were really close to dying though. I think Kill was on like 100 HP at some point. I mean, we just, just see how close these fights are getting. I think, uh, I think, I think the Malphite definitely was a bit over, over eager there, just altering onto the front line instead of looking for yeah. a possible. Defend the videos. So, oh, but Yon is uh, Defense. running it down a bit. Instant fight is nice, decent. Two man knock on Tavinia. And he'll first. Truman will get taken out in the end as well. So, I don't think they'll be able to end. But the Kale is doing so much damage right now. She's hit level 16. She is oh, shredding no. everyone. But uh, she will fall down to Shibasura. Instant oh, looking for a possible dive hit. But he, he's lost Sonor on his side. Maybe he'll be able to stay alive. But oh, the gold oh, oh, completely oh. misses from Jazza. So, they won't be able to pick up any more oh, kills right cool. here. An incident. Does he have Warmog? He doesn't have his Warmog. Oh, he does have his Warmog. Okay, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He has no He has no problems oh. to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warmog's on Aram. Let's go. That's sad to watch the blue team. Hey, you poked me out all of my HP? No, no, no. I got Warmog. I, I heal back up. And he, oh, he's looking for a pick onto the Seraphine. And he's going to find him with the initial. Oh my gosh, he got it. The initial R. <laughs> and, uh, and he's just going to walk away now. Happy with, the, happy with the gold he just received from himself. Wow. Ah, but you can see one mistake he's made. He's thinking as fast as he's on cooldown. Uh, that's only on cooldown if you build yourself an item. So if you, you can, you can like keep building uh, other people items. But if you oh, build right. yourself an item, it goes on cooldown, and and during the cooldown time, you can't build anyone else's item. Ever. But in the meantime, Karma just runs right into three people, and he doesn't care. He's still full HP. He's just slamming them, smacking oh, them, and the rest of the team is going to die in the back line. But it simply won't work here, and that's just game for uh, that's just that game for Pantheon Templars here. I'm not sure what they were going for there. I think they just they just, they just got caught, caught caught napping or something. I, I don't know what happened. That was a four v five as well. Yeah, it will be a Seraphine. Is gonna get killed in her own Nexus, oh. and Instant is just completely fine. I mean, he's got so much HP. There goes the Nexus, and there goes the first game to Pantheon's Templars. That was actually rather close. Even though. An incredible I played... game. I mean, uh, they definitely had their chances. It's just sometimes you're a bit over eager to engage. And that's that's where that's where you need to be really, really careful because especially in these team comps where both sides have really strong engage. If you just randomly engage onto an enemy front line and then you get caught out, um, th then the enemy team can engage onto your back line, and then you're the one in trouble instead. So she's looking at the damage. Very well played to the side of uh, Pantheon Templars. Yeah, taking off the damage shot. I mean, pretty much what we expected. Orn doing a lot of damage, but that's just because it's Orn. But I didn't. I think Gally was. Oh, Gallia was AP, okay. It's pretty tanky from AP, but 
wow, I didn't expect him to do as much as he feels. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's hitting some decent ultimates there in the fights, as well as just, uh, as long as you're in the middle of the enemy team as Galio, you're going to be doing a lot of damage because your Q hits everyone, your W hits everyone. Uh, your, your ult is also going to hit a lot of people. So that's, that's what we see there. You do leave your back backline completely vulnerable when you're just trying to go in for the kill. Maybe, mm -hmm. do you think anything would have been different if he went tank instead, maybe? And just try to protect his backline? Uh... I don't know. I think I think as a Galio, I think you definitely want to be looking for those engages instead of just peeling for your backline. Mm. I think what he done he did was correct. I think they just got a bit. It's just sometimes it's a bit unfortunate where the, you, you don't sync up your engages quite correctly, and then if the enemy team finds a opening in your engage and they're able to uh, they're able to counter with their own engage onto your backline, uh, that's when that's when uh, it can go downhill very very quickly, and that's that's what happened in the game. I think. But anyway, uh, we are just going to take a short break for now. We will be right back with game two of this incredibly exciting matchup. So uh, please don't forget to come back and we will see you in a second.
we're in pick and ban of second game now. Oh, picking. Okay. We don't actually get to see what they picked, so. Oh, I mean, they've not picked yet. They're, they're hovering. Right? Yeah. I want to I wanna know what they're thinking, because I think Viego is going to be a really good pick in this. You just spam your ulti everywhere. I mean, one of the issues with Viego is that you are quite short range, so got to make sure you don't get caught yeah. out. But if, you, if your team is full of engaged, like if you have a Leona and a Moomoo on your side, then... And there's all these... <laughs> it shouldn't, there shouldn't be too much to worry about, I think. Leona is broken, especially on Karma's hands, so... I yeah, he's going to be uh, clicking that E button every time he sees a champion in range, I think. And they're back on the Kale train with... Oh, the Truman on it this time. Truman's Kale. Truman on Kale? Ooh. An enemy team, they've, they've indeed play, picked um, Oriana, which is quite good um, for the team fights. Pantheon is quite good too, to snipe whoever down and insta-stun, but they don't sadly have any ADCs. And like... Jezzet, who now has the Senna, which is incredibly strong ARAMs with insane scaling. Um, your range can pretty much be like longer than the screen. <laughs> it can be like infinite. Just keep the scale to late, right? Just keep farming souls. I mean, even like in like 25 minutes, you you sometimes queue through. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Like it's, it's, it's disgusting. It's um, absolutely absurd, but that's what happens. Does she have a nerf on ARAM? I don't know. I think she gets like double the stacks or something. Something really insane. Uh, because Nasus gets double the stacks. No, no, she's not Senna, because Senna you get more stacks if you don't kill the minions. So, sure, surely not. It surely is the same. But anyway, um, if we take a look at the side of uh, I forgot her name already. What's her name again? I see all, I see all bot rig. There we go, there we go. Um, uh, I mean, interesting team comp. I, I don't know what the Lulu is for, because. They only have an ADC to shield. Mm. I guess general. you can. I guess you can sort of counter and engage from the Leona and the Mumu, but honestly, I, I don't see too much value in that pick. But hey, what do I know? But anyway, Pantheon Cled. I think they're the ones going to be engaging on, looking for a pick on to possibly like the center uh, or, or the Viego. I think if the Viego is caught out early, uh, for example, if he's just randomly stepping forward, and they can find a quick pick onto him with uh, Pantheon Clad, uh, along with the Oriana Annie ultimate combos, I think that's definitely uh, a place they can come out ahead on. But in terms of the team fight itself, I think once again we're going to be, once again we're going to be um, in a situation where the side of Pantheon Templars they can just kite back, and as long as they can kite back and. Just keep their front line distracting uh, all the all the champions on the side of ICL bot diff. Bot diff? No, that's the other team. ICL bot rigged. Bot rigged. Bot rigged. Um, uh, as long as they, as long as they, as long as they take and separate the enemy champions from the team, uh, the back line is going to be so scary. Like the Kale and the center are just going to completely shred through the side, uh, the side, the, the side uh, of of them. Because I mean, they have they have a power, they have a clever, they don't have any true tanks anyway. And even if they did have a true tank. I still don't know if they survive long enough because, uh, they honestly, this is uh, this is this is uh, once again a comp dev, I think. It's a little sad because um, I think some of the champions, like Senna and Leon and, and Viego, are all pretty insane in ARAM, and there is no healing on the red side either now, um, and they don't they really just lack any consistent damage. I don't know how they're ever gonna kill Leona. Who's gonna kill Leona? No, nobody. Nobody. Like, yeah, like, cool. if, you, if you're the Oriana or the Annie, you don't want to use your ultimate on the front line because you know how it for the back line. But if you don't use your ultimate on the front line, who's gonna kill the front line? Nobody. So um, that's the that's the problem. I so uh, Leona Senna can just two v two v five. Hmm. But anyway, as we get into game, we'll have to see who is able to come out on top here. Maybe they managed to take out a win, you know. I remember, I remember one time. When was that? We had a we had a real big comp. Dip. Was it? Was it? Was it the clowns? Was the clowns against uh, a comp superior dip? or something? Was that a comp dip? That no, 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 I remember because because uh, the clowns you picked some like pro comp, but you won. The clown? Did we? Yeah, you won. I remember. We had like. I remember, I remember we were saying how combo. scary. So scary the game was for you, and then you won. 
But anyway, we will be right back, uh, just uh, as we get into game here. So we will see you in a second. Coming from now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is this is amazing because Cheesy <laughs> has now been muted for five minutes by Ski Slayer. So we're counting on we can count on the timer in the game now. Um great job, Ski Slayer. Now you just have to listen to me for five minutes, and I don't really know what I'm talking about. Except that I think Leona is absolutely broken and she's gonna go in for a trade on the back line and come out more than half out. She can do whatever she wants. Um, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna keep talking until five minutes, but half of this is gonna be me saying that Leona is broken. And then Sarah's just gonna slowly scale. And uh, I don't, I actually don't know how Red Team is gonna win, but I'm still rooting for them because I want someone to take a game away from. Karma, Truman, and Instant. Because they're just dominating this tournament. Um, they do have quite a short range on both teams, really. Apart from Oriana, who's probably the only one who can poke that much in this game. I think Annie could be pretty scary if they can actually get to the back line. If, he can, if she can get on a surprise ulti. Or maybe on the center or Kale, that'd be pretty good. But I just, I can't. I don't know how they're gonna kill the Leona. Kale 416? Which Kale? Wait, last game's Kale? Can't even remember. Okay, so it's still standard. High level, <laughs> high level air arms with no one fighting until, until everyone's level six. I guess I can't believe no one's died yet. Um, I always feel like it's more fun the more deaths there are. I think I've had like twenty deaths by like seven minutes at some point. But they're really, they're really just both wanting to scale, I guess. But that's not good for the red team. Oh, they're winning this early trade though. I mean, we're almost going down, but just not quite. Oh, it's getting close. They didn't really win that, though. Maybe they can push this in, and maybe they can end early. But... Oh, three-man route. I guess they're really just waking it out, the blue side. Um... And... Let's see what they'll do at level six. Still, no one has died. Truman and Jez are actually both taking cleanse, I just noticed. So, yeah, I, I have no idea how they're gonna lock, lock the blue team down. Oh, going for a tower dive already. That was a lovely Oriana ulti, and it's actually working. Oh, oh no. Never mind, it is not working. And Truman going out for the kill, but sacrificing himself for it. Oh, that was a cool kill but they're just trading one for one now and sadly blue goes down Ted oh maybe dies here oh karma out of mana for even a Q this is why you take presence of mind boys oh oh it's gone we're gonna die almost but Leona's never die until now okay bye Leona Okay. Truman, I think, either, yeah, flashing in there earlier. Aggressive for a kill, but he did pick up his kill. Um, and we go back to slow scaling again, until everyone's ulties is up again. Uh, 
Wait, say five minutes. Can I come back? Yeah, welcome back. GZ's hey, not I'm back. back. Hey, oh, I'm back. Hey, I'm not. I don't know if I'm welcome, but uh, you know, I, I like to, I like to thank Ski Slayer for, uh, for for making sure that I didn't have to say anything during the most boring part of the game. Thanks, thank you very much. But anyway, in the meantime, oh my god, oh. it's so huge, absolutely massive. It hits four members. Everyone is gonna have to rush away. And Karma goes forward, hits a snowball, looking for a pick, and then the side of ICL Bodrigs is trying to run away as far as they can, and they will actually be able to try to pick on the Mumu. So. Able to find a disengage here, and Sirius goes right in, gets his scar back, is going to find pick onto the dessert shortly, chases him down, pulls him in, and Oriana Shockwave is once again huge, takes out the back line, and they win another fight right here. Wait, is, are you, are you muted now? I, I wish, can I be muted now? <laughs> pay to view you? It looks like video will go for an execute here. Over, I, is he a bit early for execute? I no, don't. He's okay. Oh, he he's has. Okay. okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's all good. Worst part was when you go for execute and then you give someone a bunch of gold because you did it mm -hmm. too early. But uh, he's he's got it all timed out well, so nothing to worry about there. He's scared with the clips now. Oh. I'm glad you can see just uh, pinging his uh, pinging his stacks there. He's got 36. Stacks already. Once he hits 40, he's gonna get another attack range boost. So, oh, Karma! Oh, Karma is absolutely insane. He's crazy. He does not care. He's gonna flash him. He's gonna take the kill. He's gonna find a pick on the Orion. She's gonna go down. She is not having a great time either. That's the flash away. The dash away. He'll use his abilities to get away. And the incident once again die. also a bit mad. I and mean, they're, they're just playing with no respect, really. They just they just see champion and run out champion. Vino looking for a pick on the incident here. He's blocking so much damage with that shield, actually. But he will go down, he will get stunned up, and he will fall. Oh, and he's getting blown up by, oh, <laughs> by, by the Viego here, stealing different champions and blowing people up with their own team members. Oriana Shockwave will hit two members, but uh, they're That's both the tanks, so not able, to, not able to find too many kills here. And that will be a tower going back to the side of the Templars and all oh, inside of fighting a massive grab onto the Orient, taking her out as well. And this is gonna be a second tower surely to the side of the Templars. Uh, like they are gonna recontest here. She puts her ults in. Mira is a bit too far forward though, gets caught out in the in the middle of the back line. And the incident is once again stolen the Annie and how he's gonna try and look for some resets here with his ultimate isn't gonna be able to find him. he gets taken out by Venia and so does the other two oh, members of the back line. He's gonna find a triple kill Actually insane, Absolutely. actually incredible, and he is once again carrying his team on his back, just like the previous game. Wow, okay. That Pantheon is so scary now. I'm pretty sure he can just one-shot anyone in the back line. He is incredibly strong. That's what that's what the back line needs to be careful about. I mean, we were saying how the front line will be fine against him, but I mean you can't you can't let him get to your back line, because if he gets to your backline, they will get deleted. So uh Anyway, oh, the move, they're, he's, they're, they're insane! They've gone oh, insane! Oh, they just find snowballs out of nowhere and they will take out everybody, every single person. Only the Cled remains and he's gonna have to run away with his best pal Skull here. Uh, he just engages out of nowhere, really. Someone finding a snowball, calm, and just pressing R onto a bunch of people. And, and, and I completely the, take that over. Yeah, I guess they just. They just... Started fighting when you, once you came back, GZ. They, they, they see champion, they're like, oh, we, we got them, even though they're like literally a screen away. It's incredible. It's incredible how this team farm works, but it's just in, insane, insane. I have no words for this. But uh, oh, still, we'll find on Karma. He's going to have to be careful because uh, he needs to make sure that he doesn't drag the uh, Pantheon. Because you know what the worst part is? The worst part is when your front line gets hit by Snowball, and then you walk back onto your back line to deliver. The enemy assassin onto your back line. That is pretty bad. Don't don't do that in ARAM, please, if you're playing front line. Don't 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 walk. Don't walk towards your back line if you get hit by snowball. <laughs> but anyway, it looks like uh no one can get hit by snowball in this fight, which is good. But Senna once again picking up a stacks. How many stacks she's on already? Must be about six. Yeah, sixty-four. So that's uh how much range is this? That is oh oh I, I tapped out. Wait, wait, wait. That is uh that is that is 660 attack range. That is a, that's a lot of attack range. That's, a, that's already the longest in the game, I think. And she's going to keep on scaling. So she's, she's, not, she's not finished it. She's only on a third attack range increase. She's got infinitely amount more of those uh, as, the, as the game drags on here. Whereas the side of... Oh, 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 Omumu. Okay. 
<laughs> Find a massive engage? I mean, this is what we're saying, like, what do you do? I didn't even see, was that a snowball that happened? I think it must have been a snowball. Instant finding Artis as well, he will go down, he won't want to kill the dead body from here. But it doesn't really matter, because the side of uh, I see or Bordering, they just have no health bars. All they left is only only Shibasu with uh, anything respectable already, but he's just oh, going to go shredded no. by the KO. Only level 11, they're dealing so much damage already. The Lulu falls as well in the back, I'm not sure too how. I mean, you're trying to flash away, but isn't he sniped by the center with just an auto attack? Mira possibly oh. looking for a pick here, but he's going to get taken oh. out before they can even do anything. And this is just going to be an incredibly quick win from Very the side. Oh, Pantheon Templars here. Karma is tanking tower heads, but he will stay alive on 100 HP. Is he going to press E? He, of course he's going to press E. Uh, he will get taken out in the end, so he may not be able to end here. The kill does so much damage, just shredding through the team. She's, oh. oh my god, doing so much damage. Luna Shield is big though, and Giselle will probably go down in the end. But that is an open Nexus at 11 minutes into the game, and that's pretty much over already. I do not know how they're going to win this pack. Kale's not even level 16 yet, and the uh, Nexus is half health. Oh, oh, mm. are they gonna look for the back door here, actually? With instant... Oh, yes, nah, there's no, there's no reason to go for it. It's 11 minutes in. Like, like, like you, you, you're, you're like stomping. You don't need to go for back doors. <laughs> oh, now he's been oh, spotted. Okay. He did... Oh, he's gonna have to flash away. But yeah, there's oh, no need to go for those. We just, we just mean a fair and fair, right? Lead, at least. Do something fun with it, you know? But yeah, you just see the engages, and look at Leona's even got a Mikael's. I don't know who is the four, wow. but she's got a Mikael's. Somebody. I guess no one's uh, ever going to CC'd on Blue Side. No, no one's even getting CC'd now. They both still have their cleansers up as well. Uh, no one is going to die. And uh, I mean, I Amumu mean, once again fighting an engage onto oh, the Lulu here. And this is oh, over already. Right. Right. Decent stun by Cameron's on the back line. Just, uh, and Truman putting out so much DPS right here. Deleting people left and right. And Shibasa is once again the only person left alive. And that flash is not going to save you very long because you just got hit by the snowball and that means the Amumu is coming forward. He's going to take you out, gets rooted yeah. by the center, and Amumu is going to take the ace for his team. That will be That's game in just 12 amazing. minutes. Incredible performance today from the family Templars. They will take the victory in the finals and they will win the grand prize. Of, uh, what is the grand prize again, Julie? It is 5,000 RP for each team member. Let's go. Ooh, 5 pounds of RP for each team member. That's an incredible just... prize. Go through about four hours of ARAMs for that prize, so they really do deserve that. Yeah, post match interviews, cheesy. Go ahead. Wait, what? I I'm gonna pick interviews. Um, is that anyone? Is else? that is that my job? Uh, nah, no, that's not my job. Someone else can do that, right? Someone All right, who do you want to interview? I see a I see a vote for Truman. Any 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 more? Any more? I want to hear from Raymond. To be fair, let's get them both in. Sounds good, sounds good. Hello. 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 Congratulations on your massive win. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. What's that, like 14 minutes? Very short one. Yeah, yeah I mean, all your games have been incredibly quick today. Uh, yeah, do, you think this is, uh, do you think this is all down to just RNG, or if, if, if you think that like there is something, you have a sort of a strong team-based ment mentality within the team, that you play together well, that you fit together well, or, or do you think you just got lucky with the team comp today? Um, I think we have faster fingers, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I mean, like, like, the team comes, like, in both okay. games, when we saw the when we saw the champs, we're like, oh, we lost draft. But then they, like, selected the wrong champions. Like, they somehow, like, got, like, the worst fucking um, uh, combination of the champs that they could have picked. What so I think, think they kind of dropped it themselves. What do you think they should have gone for, then? this game uh so let me have a look so they had victor which is completely broken in this game mode they had pantheon which they picked they should not have picked orion in my opinion they should not pick lulu with the champs that they had um it was just a waste of a champion um annie was fine i think yumi would have just been a better version of lulu here but yeah i think victor was was really really important for them uh if they wanted to win but yeah yeah, I think uh, even though sometimes we weren't getting the best champs, we just we we kind of spent a lot of time in draft just to yeah. select uh, which champs and develop a strategy around it. Yeah, I guess that's like a big part. Yeah, pretty much. So what part? What do you think like winning the game in the last one? 
What part are you shocked? Mimi snowballs. Okay. Oh, Mimi was safe. <laughs> Raymond. Uh, I. I didn't even know I had the champion, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I wanted to... Yeah, it's okay. I, I, yeah, I'm not very... I don't really play that much tank. But uh, I mean, it's kind of easy. I learned from Dingyu champion. No cap. Yeah, you're in... <laughs> seems like you're in good hands then. Yep. No cap, no cap. But yeah, I mean, uh, throughout this tournament, you've been just completely dominating games. Uh, did you practice a lot beforehand with uh, with the movie members of the team? Uh, we just played like casual ARMs, which is like how the team was formed, pretty much. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really say we practice very much, just chilling ARMs. I think it's pretty hard to emulate like these sorts of tournaments. Yeah, practice, yeah, because, so... yeah, exactly. Because I I I really like the way we did it with the champions, because it allowed us to like have some more time to, as I yeah, like, yeah, strategy. Yeah. <laughs> And decide who to play with champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Sounds good. Sounds good. And uh, finally, do you have any ideas of what you're going to spend your uh, five pounds of RP on that you uh, that you earned for this one? <laughs> I don't even know how much RP that is, but probably enough for some chromas or something. Could probably get myself some new chromas. You can get a whole, at least one whole mystery skin from that. <laughs> It is seven hundred thirty. Not enough. bad. Not bad. Could be. Could be worse. I think. We're very Julia, grateful for the prize. Yeah, uh, Julia. I think I actually owe you five pounds RP from the last TFT. You didn't. Uh, for the at the at the, the TFT moment. <laughs> I, I didn't, didn't pay you back for it. So I don't know how I won, but I'll, I'll <laughs> take it. You, That's you, can, you, can, you can claim it for yourself, I guess. <laughs> hey, sure. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Because I I actually forgot about it. It just came to my mind. Wait, who's whose is it? Because I didn't even play. No, because remember, uh, I asked I asked you to send someone RP. Uh, and I never and, did. Oh, you didn't. No <laughs> 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 um, Oops. Okay. But oh, I will enough. be sending this team the Pantheon <laughs> Templars, the five pounds each, of course. Yeah, don't forget to do that. Of course, uh, we don't. We obviously give out prizes here at OCLG. We Definitely don't go back on our promises. Very amazing prizes. No cap, no cap. I'm sure you're very happy to have spent your night on this uh, tournament. <laughs> yes, this it, was, it was well organized. Thank you for organizing. Um, it was a, it was a very nice tournament. It was a very nice opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, I think that will be it for today. Then um, I'm sure you guys have uh, have enjoyed uh, enjoyed everything today. But that will be it for today. Uh, it will be. It is. Uh, it is nice speaking to you, uh, Truman and uh, and Raymond. It was nice. I'm sure, you guys you. will have a nice day and a nice week. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You too, man. And thank you, everyone, for watching. And don't forget to uh, catch us for any future tournaments that we might have. Don't know if we have anything planned, but... Uh...